So guys, a lot of you are waiting for the Christmas update in Murder Mystery 2, but some people feel like there's not really much to do in Murder Mystery while we wait for this update. And at this point, the Halloween event has ended, and you can only collect coins now, so like, what's really the point of playing the game when there's no Christmas update out yet? But actually, there are a few things you could be doing in Murder Mystery 2 to make sure you're properly prepared for this Christmas update. Because if you do some of these things, you might end up being one of the best Christmas players in Murder Mystery 2. So if you guys want to know what you should do before the Christmas update starts, to make sure like, comment, and subscribe but let's get right into it so first i've seen a few people say that they want to grind coins out for this christmas update so they'll have a lot of coins for the update but you know i'm not too sure if coins will actually be of use sometimes coins are useful in christmas updates because a lot of the time saint nicholas will ask you to get some classic or season one item and give them to saint nicholas or maybe craft them away and then saint nicholas will give you some pretty cool christmas items like for example in the santa's challenge in 2019 and 2020 he wants 10 random classic or season one items and if you give them all to him he will give you a special christmas legendary so if we do see something like that then coins will end up being quite useful because you'll be able to unbox some of the classic or season one boxes to get the items that saint nicholas wants but the only issue is we did not see santa's challenge return for christmas 2021 and there was actually no use for coins in that event so we're not completely sure if coins will be of use here but if saint nicholas comes back with another challenge or maybe if we see one of those christmas crafting events like we did in 2016 and 20 2017 and i think even 2018 as well we'll be able to see coins be a little bit useful so maybe you should collect some coins but you know i don't know if it should be a priority now next is one of the most important things you should do before this christmas update starts and it's to actually build up an inventory before this update drops you may wonder why you'd want all of these random murder mystery items and you know they're not the new christmas stuff but here's the thing you'll actually be able to trade a lot of these items for some of the christmas items especially since when the christmas update drops a lot of the new items will be a very expensive so you're going to want some pretty cool items in your inventory even if they're old so you can trade for the christmas godly but since the christmas items are going to be very expensive you'll need some very expensive items if you're trying to get the brand new christmas update items early so you might want things like corrupt or harvest or maybe even some of the 2022 halloween stuff or maybe even last year's christmas stuff because that stuff's still pretty good but, you know eventually the christmas items that come out this year they will end up lowering in value so it might be easier to get them but they might still be pretty expensive so you're gonna want to make sure you have an inventory so you can try to get some of the items or maybe even some of the items that are not golly like for example some of the legendaries you might kind of want so it would be cool to like have some legendaries saved up so you could trade for the new christmas legendaries and even for every tier down if you want any of those items you'll want to trade for them now the third thing i'm gonna say is also something very important for this christmas update but i know not everyone can do but it's to make sure you have a little bit of robux in your account before the update i know unfortunately not everyone can get robux very easily but robux is extremely extremely important for these items because you can get the new items almost instantly if you have enough robux you know of course there's probably going to be like a new shop bundle or maybe an evo and that'll of course cost robux and you'll only be able to get it through robux and if it's a bundle you may want to buy the full package for 3,399 robux because that also comes with an exclusive very rare effect that you can only get through buying the bundle and if we end up seeing an evo this year like what some people are thinking that of course will not be tradable so if you want to get that brand new evo item you're going to need to buy it because you won't be able to trade but of course you'll also be able to spend robux on snow tokens as well so you'll be able to get the brand new christmas main event ancient pretty quickly if you have enough robux and maybe even the unboxable godly if you're lucky enough and if we end up seeing the gifting presents come back we'll probably be seeing a new godly if you gift a hundred people present and that's usually very expensive like i'm pretty sure getting the swirly blade costed more snow tokens than the swirly axe which is a little crazy but i feel like robux is even more important for christmas than halloween in some cases and one of the last things I want to talk about is gems. Because gems actually do have a use in the Christmas event since you can actually transfer your gems into snow tokens. Like we can see like in Halloween, if I had any gems, I'd be able to use those on candies. And it's the same for Christmas as well. I personally would not buy any gems right now. Mainly because if you just buy snow tokens for Robux outright, you usually get a better deal than if you buy gems and transfer them into snow tokens. Because of course there will be offers for you to just buy snow tokens outright. So if you do plan to get a lot of snow tokens, with robux i would just save the robux for when the event actually drops and use it that way instead of using the gem way but if you do have any gems right now i would save them for the update so you can use those gems and the snow tokens and i guess one of the real last ways to prepare for this update this one's really an optional thing but if you want to try to get maybe a friend or two to help grind in the christmas update with you it might be a lot easier to get snow tokens in the round because murder mystery is always a lot easier if you have a friend with you so if you are trying to get snow tokens very quickly you might want to you might want to get a 
friend to help you out with that. But guys, that's about everything you need to do to prepare for this Christmas update. Be sure to let me know in the comments, are you going to prepare for this Christmas update or are you just going to wait until the update actually drops? Be sure to let me know. But I feel like I've already prepared for this update. I mean, I have a pretty good inventory that I'm fine to trade for right now. And I also got a bit of Robux in my account that I do plan on using in the Christmas update. But yeah, guys, that's about all I got to say. So I'm going to end this video off here. So until next time, goodbye. Thank you.